Hey everyone, welcome to Commander Clash. Amonkhet has finally arrived to Magic Online, to the world rather, and I hope everybody enjoyed your pre-release. And right now, we're going to be showcasing the first batch of the new legendary creatures, the new El Commander eligible creatures from the set, and we're starting off with the gods. So there are five new gods. Since there are four of us, we've picked four of them. We're going to have the next one, Oketra, showcase probably in the next episode. But for now, we picked four of the gods, and let's start it off with Jennifer. What did you pick? Oh, so I chose Ronas, the Indomitable, this week. I think it's the best of the gods, so I swiped it as quickly as I could. But I I know that I just played Nylia, which is the other mono green god, so I didn't want to build it the same way. So I went more with a land ramp as opposed to elves and more of a wide and pump strategy since Renos has a pump ability on him. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going with more of a wide pump strategy as opposed to big, huge fatties as fast as possible. Nice. And it will also be cool since you've just played the Nylea deck, you'll have it fresh in your mind and you'll have a good perspective of comparing the two gods afterwards, after this game, mm -hmm. I'd say. Cool. All right, Seth. I see you picked Hazarot, the fervent. Um, I... <laughs> can you explain your decision and uh, what the deck's about to do? <laughs> uh, so I actually, I don't think Hazarot's or Hazarot's very good, but <laughs> I actually did intentionally pick it. I think it might have actually been the first god picked when we were I choosing think so. them because <laughs> I I wanted the challenge of building around it and. I'm not convinced that I'm 100% successful, but there are some interesting synergies. So I I have some cool stuff to work with being empty-handed to get in damage with Hazret and also taking advantage of my graveyard a bit with some red reanimation stuff going on. Ooh. So after I discard a card, I can hopefully get some value getting it back from the graveyard. Yeah, it was funny when we were discussing who's going to play which god. I was vocally opposed to Hazarot being even a choice, and I even went as far as to say, well, since there's five gods, we don't actually have to play the red one. Don't <laughs> worry about it. And Seth decided, you know what? Since, since I'm, everybody's not happy with Hazarot and thinks it's horrible, you know, I'm going to take it. And he first picks... <laughs> the Red God, which was a shocker, and much respect, Seth. I, I, I'm eager to see how this one pans out. <laughs> All right, and Tom, what are you running? I'm running the, uh, I took the Mono Black God this time, uh, Bond to the Glorified. I actually think this guy is going to be a better uh, general in the other 99, but I definitely wanted to try him out. I just love the artwork. It's so cool, mm. and um, I really can't wait to kind of stretch uh, the god's legs, if you will. It is a big old crocodile, so it should be pretty fun. <laughs> and um, I definitely took this deck in a very different direction than I think you'll normally see. So I hope you enjoy it. It's definitely very different, and I can't wait to try it out. Nice. Yeah, I, when I think Bantu, I'm thinking like Sacrifice and certain certain specific cards, similar to like the Erebos game that I played recently but you're saying that you're taking it in a different direction which is very interesting because i don't even have an idea of where to start like in a different direction so it's going to be cool all right and this is tomer i am running kefnet the mindful my favorite god of the batch and no i didn't first pick it i was actually just kind of handed kefnet oddly enough um kefnet is i think one of the best gods of the new cycle and you can play him in very different ways. You can play him as Voltron because he is a 5-5 flying indestructible for 3. So he's already set up to do some good commander damage. You can play him as active abilities, trying to make his activated ability a little bit more palatable by perhaps reducing his, his cost and stuff like that. Or he can go for various combos. I'm doing something different than all of those things. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. There are a lot of, you know, staple cards like tutors and card draw and removal. But there's also going to be a lot of cards that you're probably not going to see anywhere else except maybe a Richard deck. So, without further ado, let's start with the hands. Um, starting with me, I have a one lander. Very easy, Mull. I'm going to go ahead and keep my hand. It's got a little bit of everything that I might want, so it's pretty solid. 
Uh, I also have one lander. I have my best card, but I gotta, I gotta ship it. Uh, my deck, my head has a one drop, so I'm going for it. Simple as pie. <laughs> right, one drops a commander. That's how this, that's how this that's format works. Do, yeah, definitely. It's a race. Mono one drop dot deck. My <laughs> new hand has two lands. It, it will be good if I hit another land. And I have 38 lands in my deck. I don't want to go to six. I have three drops that are going to be excellent if I can get that last land. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to keep. Uh, everything you said, but <laughs> with, red, with red cards. Exactly the same situation. You but start I with will keep three it drops? <laughs> Has her it? I'm so confused and scared. Ooh, and the new, I... the new full arts. Yeah, Ooh. I decided to go uh, very flavorful nice. uh, with the lands this time, like you usually do. Also, they're like point one tickets, so it's not like a big investment. They mm. actually look really good, too. They, I really like really the, the art on them. Uh, um, so I didn't hit a land yet, but I have, I have, I have faith. And uh, Tom's going to hate me for this. Ta-da. Like, I'm just gonna I'm just going to cycle it if I don't hit a land. I promise. <laughs> I promise. I mean I can just I'll just attack you every single time. It's kind of fine. I know. No, I'll get rid of it. <laughs> I'll just attack you every single time. It's okay. Uh, it makes it makes my decision making so much easier. In uh, fact, I appreciate it. <laughs> and no one can be angry at me for attacking you every single turn. But what if I get rid of it? Then we could be allies? <laughs> not not friends. <laughs> These are that. allied colors, after all. <laughs> it is true. But first things first. Ugh. Get him, Tom. Him Get him. <laughs> I'm doing the red decks work here. Uh, I didn't draw land either. Ugh. And what is this? I'm not going first this game? There's something right. really wrong here. Moto bug. Moto fail one. <laughs> Tomer's always uh. first. That's just, that's, a, that's just a truth of life in this series. Uh, Truth of life, indeed. I forgot to tap out. No that land, was a bad call. No land drop yet. Um, I'm feeling good about this, so I can draw a card, and then, and then something. All right, we're gonna get the ramping started. Welcome to green again, everybody. Nice. Now we'll go with that one. So in there all the same. <laughs> good, good choice. Thanks. Oh, snow covered. Yep. Uh, extra planar lens tech, just in case. Uh, no. No lens. Oh boy. Nope. Drawn five drops. Uh, Still have one more turn. This is a weird, weird start to the commander clash. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm getting my ramp on. I'm not getting my ramp on, but I'm also doing okay. Looks like I'll be the first person to cast their commander. All right, look, I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. All right, this makes it a lot easier. Okay. No. Oh. oh, I didn't tap out. Look at that. Um, jeez. Not Wait. a land? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Oh, I'm going to be discarding the hand size. That's that's the worst way to start a commander game. Not if... Well, okay, so yesterday I was playing commander, and I very specifically was going first and then drew a card and discard to hand size because I wanted to start dredging. Oh, so. well, okay. So there's there's exceptions to the rule. Yes. <laughs> there was this Unfortunately, I, I don't have many dredge cards in my deck. There was this one time in Commander Clash where I felt really smart for setting up a victimize by missing a land drop. And then I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't loved. Um, <laughs> uh, I got a land. It's not the best land, but it's a mirror pool. It's it's yeah. gonna tap for for mana next turn, which is great. Eventually, it's getting there. I do love me a mirror pool. I'm never gonna be angry about a mirror pool. Card is so cool. It's really neat. I remember people were really excited about this for Commander, and then just nobody played it. All right, Ronas is here. Ronas is Be here. Be scared. It's big. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice tech. Even oh. though Ronus isn't can't attack or block, he is still a big death touch indestructible creature. Yep, I Very can fight for everybody I want. Yes. And they all just die. Ugh. So that is theme Ooh, number one of my deck. Theme speaker. I love don't prophetic keep... here. I I just I need it to draw me land, so please don't <laughs> fight it. <laughs> I won't attack you, I promise. Uh we can probably work something out. I just want my uh, land drops. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see if this is how this card works. Because I've never actually played this card before. Because I only play Commander. So I think if I attack with this, I can bring it back to its own ability. It does work, yeah. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Combo. What a shame that I had to waste a Relic for Genesis not to get... <laughs> just to hit my land drops. But I'm sure everybody's running Graveyard Hate, right? Because... We're responsible commander players. Sweet! That was so much fun. I love this card. <laughs> Never played before in my entire life. I'm a big fan. Uh, so let me tell you. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that's a land drop. This is not how I, I, I was hoping everything would work out. But okay. First of all, propaganda. Please stop attacking me. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> And Teleria West was, I was hoping to use as transmute ability for, you know, utility cards like to, to but, get an island. But whatever, it's, it's now just a bad island. That's great. For someone who drew two lands in a row after keeping a two lander, you're doing a lot of complaining over there, Tomer. <laughs> that's, that's kind of my, that's my forte now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, complaining or drawing lands? So jealous. I've, I've slowly learned how to try to keep myself alive here. It's it was either that or morph into the Jake of the group. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you didn't go that direction. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> I was close. Big old five five, huh? Can't attack or block though. It can't fight though. I know that feeling yeah. about can't attacking or blocking. Could fight the bond too. Could fight the Bantu. Who would win? There wouldn't be much point fighting the Bantu. <laughs> like how they gave my guy menace instead of like fear or intimidate. Right? Well, I think fear is like obsolete now, right? Yeah. But doesn't make it not flavorful. Yeah. Ooh. Worm bite staff. Oh boy. Some 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 shaman synergy. Oh I here. can't Yeah. Oh, Is that geez. my shaman? So I just have all the fight. Yeah. <clears throat> so that just mows down someone's board for free. Or for two mana each shot, right? Yep. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's, well... This creature deals one damage to target creature or player. That's and then whenever a creature dies, untap it. So it could, yeah. Well, that's, that's pretty good. All my creatures aren't doing anything now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to attack Tom since he's the only one I can attack. That's a really good point. Well, and you most... can actually attack uh, into Ronos because it also can't block. Yeah, but then it'll just fight and kill my thing for sure. Uh, Omen machine? Uh, uh, it's Squee! Uh, oh, squee! no, Squee! <laughs> oh, you saw one of my secret attacks. If I got to get empty handed and stay empty handed, I'll just make it so no one can draw cards, but now Omen machine's getting exiled. Well, you at least got Squee, which is like my favorite red card. Squee is pretty cute, pretty sweet. But you're sorry. not even casting Squee. Wow! Oh, gosh. I just wanted Sad to land. Robot. Squee's gonna remember this. <laughs> uh, goblins never forget. Never forget. All right, it dies. That stays on top. Aha! A land. Hmm. Look at this. Look at this scry. Also, we'll tax Seth, better known as Saffron Olive. Well, probably. I missed the probably. I'm sorry. Shoot. That's all right. I will block. I that helps him out. Oh, yeah. yeah good. You will block? Uh, I will, will you? Oh! Will oh you? I see a little, I see this little, uh, this oh, little I it, thingy. I, illegal blocking. There was some talk about judge, fear and intimidate a minute ago. Judge. <laughs> Seth is doing an illegal move. 
See, if you had if you had fear there, I totally would have blocked that. <laughs> so menace confirm better. It's true. All right, tag. Oh, okay. Uh, ponder. Let's ponder into land. That'd be great. Ugh. <laughs> that sounds like a shuffle to me. I mean, I've it's heard a, a lot of shuffles. In it's my a day. reliquary. It like a I have thirty islands in this deck, <laughs> and it would be wonderful if I could just see it. And s okay, so this is a reliquary. Okay, you two. I mean, <laughs> you're theoretically going to draw a whole bunch of cards because of Kefnet, right? So, wouldn't reliquary tower be worth getting and keeping? Uh, it costs four to draw a card off him. He is not. The greatest set. You know what, actually, though? I think I will take my guaranteed land drop. Okay, how do I do this? Each card, first card click <laughs> will be the last card. I got to make sure it's... <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take the Reliquary Tower, and then I'm going to... Yeah. I think. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take the Reliquary Tower. Boom. All right, I'm transmuting to shuffle my library. Ah, what was I looking for, though? That is fancy. Uh, uh, this is not good right now. This is n okay. <laughs> uh, there has to be like something good here. Good ish. Not really. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I will take this. Oh, man. Play my land. I can't believe you took that. Ugh. I'm going to have to <laughs> upvote the top comment telling you how that was the incorrect thing to take. <laughs> oh, no. It starts again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And here is the last secret of my deck. Gosh. Oh. oh, no. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate it. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay. Mm. Okay, boys and girls. The game has changed. <sighs> well, I, got, I guess I got to attack Tom again. I need a land. Get that land. I'm trying. I'm actually surprised, Seth. I thought you would just like play every single ritual possible plus Lotus Petal and just get Hazard out on turn one. And that would just be game plan number <laughs> one. <laughs> this is actually like playing controlling. I cannot find a land. Ooh, Null Span Dragon though. Ooh, Chandra. Chandra can find me a land, maybe. Mm-hmm. I guess we gotta try exile. that. Yep. Yeah, it's a land. It's a it land. It took a lot of work, but we got there. Go and now there. I can't do anything else. I realize that all the red card draw doesn't really draw you cards anyway. So you can kind of like draw a ton of cards each turn and still attack by having no cards in hand. That was my sweet revelation about Hazret. Yeah, that's true. Um, they used to just exile your library temporarily and you can play it. I am a little worried about dying to infect. <laughs> I As think we're all worried. we're all a little bit worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> a slight, slight bit of concern. <laughs> I probably could have taken a little better pillow for a card back then, but I did not anticipate the Phyrexian Hydra. No one. No one. No one. Yeah. The Phyrexian Hydra. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was good. I'm glad. That's a, at least the fighting's down. There's still a Thornbite staff. Step one. <laughs> Hey, I had a land off the top, and it's an island. Look at that. Well, um, there you go. Well, I really don't want to cast this right. Okay, Jennifer, I don't. I have an answer to your Hydra. I just don't want to use it. Can you not hit me with it, and I won't use my answer on you right now? What? Will my Hydra never be targeted by that answer? It won't be targeted this turn. And then we could renew our treaty every turn. <laughs> 
Actually, you're the easy one to hit. That's true. Although, uh, I can probably be convinced. Probably, as in yes. Yeah, you don't blow up my Hydra. I'll let you. Let, I'll let you go for a turn. Good enough for me playing Kefnet. <sighs> Kill the Hydra. I know. I don't know why. Oh, Tomer. I just want to. I want to start drawing cards. <laughs> You know the you don't drawing cards. You don't you even have the mana. You want to draw more cards. Oh gosh, Tomer. Also, how many cards did I draw? I, I, I cast Ponder. I said, I said you draw a card at the beginning of every turn. It's a joke. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, oof. Yeah, one of those things. All right, let's go to combat. <laughs> Ooh. Oh gosh. That's a aggressive play against Seth that are known as Saffron Oz. Uh, <laughs> okay. I guess we, we jump. <laughs> Why do you want to kill me so bad? I think, are you just d dead? No. He chumped the Hydra, so he's not just dead. I don't, it's also 7 in fact, it's not 10, so he wouldn't be dead. It would have been if he hadn't blocked it. It would have been it, right. Legal. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. Ronus does things. Because <laughs> that's what really Ronus does. Hard. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, to be fair, I play tested Kefnet, so now I know what Kefnet does. I did not play test Ronus, so I'm going to be very iffy on everybody else's cards. Sorry, YouTube. That's fair. Right. Oh. Pay three. Trample. Play. Oh, oh my goodness. It keeps going. <laughs> going and going and the going. I want to get off All of my side. friends. Oh. <laughs> I think I have a couple cards in my deck that might help us. You can attack me. Just figure it out. Well, let's... <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> let's let's exile with Chandra. See who we hit. Open right. arms over here. <laughs> It's a, you're seeing three cards per turn. Ooh, a mountain. It's a mountain. This. That's actually really good. I'm, I'm jealous. The question is, if I attack, do I just immediately die on the backswing? Probably. So far, it kind of looks like the answer to that is yes. Hmm. But we get, we get a couple more cards to look at. Mm -hmm. I think we're the looking blocks. for Earthquake, maybe. Mountain. We found uh, those lands. There's all the lands. Oh, you, you got rid of them. Oh, oh, what? Molten Tail Masticore. Nice. That's a that is back. sweet looking. I love that card. Oh, oh Vandal Blast. Okay, step one. That's a, a slightly <laughs> helpful. Uh, it lets me discard cards to get empty handed. Uh, feels fine. All right. That makes sense. Cute. I like it. Okay. Sidisi. Sidisi! Oh, and it gets rid of the champ. That champion's really, really working out well. This is so much easier when you're not in Tomer's seat, and then they can't just tell you that you're doing everything wrong. <laughs> it makes life better, I'm not going to lie. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, oh boy. It is what it is. Wait, what killed my Thornbite staff? Uh, uh, I Vandal Blasted. Oh, it. Vandal Blast. All right. So you got any one mana rests in there, Tom? You know, sadly, <laughs> I do not. <laughs> um, you're, are you, you're not looking hard enough, are you? Look harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoa. oh, we got him. That is a Pro shiny bauble, though. Those infect creatures are quaking in their in their little hooves. <laughs> Might as well attack. I can't. It can't block this turn because nothing on my side is going to die during your turn. Ooh, I get an extra upkeep. I, I don't like how much this commander is like turn off, turn on. <laughs> it's very weird. Um... Yeah, that's one of the hardest ones to keep on. I think. It's so much sacrificing to always have it be a real creature. That's why I think it's weaker than it could have been. Yeah, I almost wonder if it could have been just like a free sack outlet. Oh, this actually... 
Free sack outlets are really All right, Tomer. Dangerous. Save us, Tomer. How? I don't know. Pongify. <laughs> I don't have Pongify. <laughs> Turn to swine. <laughs> yeah, curse the swine. That card. Uh, cyclonic Rift. There's I, blue I don't have Cyclonic. Okay, I can I can get rid of the Ronus. Would that make people happy? But yes. Because then they don't have trample. And snake gods. Yeah, I think that helps. By a lot. Yeah, and not getting trample is actually a big deal. That means we might not assuredly die. Duh. Okay. But I'm saying this is a favor? I'm in a good spot. I, I don't... Mm. Mm. She has to pay four mana and she can kill you. Mm. When you put it like, that Like, that way. thing can't block... <laughs> All right, I have an imprison in the moon, so I'm assuming I have to ah! imprison Ronus. I tutored for it, so people should have seen the card. Yeah, Ronus is is probably good. All right. Wait. What? Wait. You said it was good. <laughs> well, no, it is. Good? I think it is good, but okay. You don't really have a blocker, do you? Your god is not a creature at the moment. But I just helped the group out, so you'll be nice to me. Well, but. Jennifer goes next. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Come, come to think, I mean, she can just smash you. Like, I think you helped everyone out, but I don't know how good this will turn out for you. You could smash for a minimum of hey. eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at that there we go. All right. Everything's good now. But I gave hey, you a, a really cool legendary land. It does look really cool on MTGO. Notice the indomitable, the legendary land. It looks Caps pretty sweet. You're welcome. As a land. It really does. I'm the sad. color scheme matches really well. Mm -hmm. New invocation. All right, what am I doing now? Sorry, Jennifer. Don't hurt me. I don't know how that... I'm, I'm pretty sure you're the target now. Oh, this is what <laughs> happens. When I listen to Tom and Seth... You have Echo Mage. You're mm. good. <laughs> yeah, what Seth said. Fine. There's no no Ronas to pump at ya. Attack. Like so. Gross. <laughs> oh my god. Am I dead? Oh no. I'm just hoping you play Gush. I don't play Gush. That's like five tickets online. Is it really? That's yeah, expensive. Popper. Oh, right. really? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. that's, like, that's a card that's played in Popper, huh? Uh, Make sure you block the Hydra. Yeah, I'm blocking the Hydra. Okay. Slowly with it. Uh, yeah. I'm just, just checking. Is it? Uh, More for my sake, because I want it to be a little smaller. <laughs> so I freaking took out the Ronus. You didn't die. even attacking me. Oh. Oh, God. It's back. If you can find the imprison in the moon, that's the challenge. It's artifact. It's like, not an where's this is only artifact? I can't oh. get imprison in the moon. Oh, it's I not wish. a sage. Oh, I better F three then, because <laughs> <laughs> I can regenerate this thing. Yeah, which is why I think I probably should bobble. Did you tutor the bobble, Tom? I hope not. <laughs> that, would, that would be so brutal. Spend your tutor on a bobble and then get it blown up. It, it hurts either way. Alright, thanks. I mean, it's the only one that actually would have died. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you had so. no other choice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like there was a different choice for you that turn. Discard uh, what are we, all your cards. What actually, are we you discarding? Like oh, I didn't type out. Oh, there you go. I had to tap Ronas for mana. <laughs> Commune with lava. All right. The massacre looks such a really great idea with this commander. Do you have the uh, the other one, the Razor Mane? I think this is the only massacre I have. Oh, that sounds a good one. That would have been a good one though. Um, all right. Well, let's see. Ping. Kill. 
So if I kill Tomer, I get my Ronas back, right? Yes. Okay. That, that is true. This is the last time I ever listened to Seth and Tom. <laughs> I mean, we had a deal going. You broke I know. it. No. You broke it. This is how it works. That yeah, that is my fault, and now I'm being attacked. <laughs> I just, I'm just, it's the draw card uh, attack. I'm not trying to hurt you. YouTube, I'm sorry. I listened to them. I, I'm trying to save you with these cards. Ah, oh, Battle Sphere. <laughs> As you punch me in the face with your <laughs> your prophetic laser, I'm helping you. <laughs> let, me was just, a, was let me mind slave your you. Let's just let me help you with that. <laughs> All right, mirror battle sphere, one mana short. Yep, can't cast it. We'll just pass. Ooh. Oh, crypt cast. That's pretty sweet. That's what I tutored for. Yes. Okay. Not crypt cast. Aww. Ever. I cannot pay but, for crypt cast. But they're just Thank cute, poisonous, me. infectious <laughs> I really thing. hate poison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that as soon as that secret was out, I was not going to be liked very well. How how high is that on the list of things that makes you just immediately attack someone in Commander? Is that, like, right at the very top? Uh, like, is there anything yes? worse than your, from your it's perspective? It's probably up there, but there's probably something worse, too. I mean, Edric, especially if Tomer plays it. <laughs> that, that that's probably a slightly ahead of in fact. Oh mm. man, I could play this. It helps Tom as well. Yay! Uh, I I I ate the infect creature that was going to kill you, so helping me is a okay. Uh huh. <laughs> um, I think it it benefits me more in the long run. I'm just gonna play Hearthstone. Hey, sweet! Hey, I have my deck with, as well. With I almost played that. It oh. helps and then I everybody help in this week, yeah. But I think it helps me a little bit more. Or that's my justification right now. And since I didn't hit a land drop, I'm going to activate its ability now and hopefully hit a land. Pick well, up no matter your what land and replay it. Oh. You could just yeah, you could uh, just replay your land for fun. I yeah, that's that was what I was gonna get to, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I was going to pick it up, like I was going to all, all the time. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That was fancy. And uh, there we go. I would golf clap, but the audio wouldn't be good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The infect features seem whittled down. That's what you think. I'm still, still bracing. I'm still bracing. Nothing good is going to happen. No. So you cannot block, correct? Tomer? No, he cannot. I can. Mm -hmm. We could uh, <laughs> alliance. <laughs> I don't want to. No, go no, no! Like you this. already ruined your chance of an alliance this week. Uh... You get a try. I gave you one, and it was ended. <laughs> oh my god, she's so much less forgiving than Seth. It's amazing. I have. <laughs> I just want to play my mood folk. This is the moon folk. It's a five drop. Oh wow, in prison the moon is really flavorful for a moon folk deck, huh? Look at my look at my lands. They're Kamigawa lands. Mm. This is the flavor. Oh. Cost me mana to attack, but I gotta do it. I'm not dead to this, though. No, you're, not yet. You're getting not on me board. very close to dead though. Which I don't, I don't like. Oh. Oh, you're complaining as you're killing me. I had That's to tap nice. Ronus for damp for mana. Yes, I'm complaining. <laughs> you didn't have to. Well, sure, but he's a land. It's a really nice looking land. True. It's a legendary land. Tomer is trying so hard. <laughs> yes, uh, he is trying very hard. I can take right. a one person out with poison. I'm going to feel pretty good about myself. I'm going to feel horrible. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they no. keep coming. <laughs> oh. All the oh. flashbacks of Scars of Innistrad, whatever this set was called. Scars of Mirrodin Block. So I should probably be killing this Crypt Ghast, but there's infect creatures on the battlefield. 
They're not a big deal. They haven't targeted you once. They they smashed into me the very first turn you had them, and I had to chomp. Oh, that's true. That's true. Never mind. I lie. So I guess we'll do that. Four damage and exhale a creature card from your graveyard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this discarding thing is actually getting a little annoying. Warhammer. Ah, I love that card. It nice. seems sweet with my commander. Yeah, some yeah. Oh, just okay. Play, just play Cage that. Sun. Don't worry, I have some combos. We'll play this. Doesn't that make me more worried? Don't worry, I have combos. Oh, yeah, I think that would Comer make you more worried. No, just, you, yeah. just, just, just wait and see what I meant. There's my combo. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I okay. love it so much. Right. Seth, we're friends, right? Yeah, yeah we're friends. That's, a, that's just it's adorable. The, okay. So I can make my commander a creature anytime. And counter something. Uh, no attacks. So I'm not just going to counter your random card draw, Tomer. Don't worry. <laughs> you know how much I like my card draw. <laughs> yeah. Do I'm... you guys basically always play Sad Robot? Uh, it's yeah. very, yeah, for the most part. Any deck that doesn't have green in it, basically, it's really good value. Especially right. if you can like, I would... blink it. I was putting it, I had it in my deck, and I was like, I have a few things to cut. I think Sad Robot goes. But I think I have 15 land ramp spells, so. Yeah, I think it's a lot less important in green, because you have so many good ramp cards already. Mm -hmm. But other colors, it's a little little sketchy for finding lands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially, it's like, multicolor non-green decks, those are really helpful. Uh, okay. Nightmare Lash. Huh. Oh, should I discard my hand for this? How scary is this? Um, he gets plus eight, plus eight. It's pretty scary. So Bantu becomes uh, twelve. Eh. Two shots. <laughs> <laughs> there's in, there's infect creatures on the table. That doesn't sound that scary at the moment. And my hand's not that bad. Oh no! Have we ever had anyone die to commander damage on Commander Clash? I almost think that's never happened. We don't usually go for Voltron. That's a thing. That was my other choice. I was deciding between Voltron and Infect. Maybe I'll have to go Voltron another time. Okay, what do I do here? Don't want to die to Infect. You don't. <laughs> Oddly enough, no. <laughs> That's so weird. Are you sure? Um, so... It's a noble Phyrexian death. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Can... And see, if I kill you to infect, I won't feel so bad about dying to commander damage from... Ah, there you go. Uh, well, there you Bronos go. will be back, and he can block now. That's true. Uh... No, he can't. He can't block at the moment. I don't have well, another creature with power oh, four. Oh, that's true. It's a two-two. Okay, so I can do one. I can make three mana eight, to be able to block nine, with them ten, by pumping it. True. Another dude. Five. Can play one creature, one blocker. Is that going to be enough to keep me alive? Uh, uh, if there's no pump spells or anything. Yeah, that's an unfortunate bit. No. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just do it. I'm pretty sure this is my best play. I'll well, find out soon enough. Sorry, Tara Seer. Seer, what? <laughs> Sorry, Tommy Seer. Yay. It is a blocker. Merfolk number one. You mean Moonfolk? Yes, moon, Moonfolk. <laughs> moonfolk number one. That's what I meant? Yep. <laughs> She's got a mirror. She's ready for, for combat. She, she, oh, that's fun. Event? she windfalls just me. <laughs> that is really fun. That's cool. 
Also chumps and fat creatures. She's going to chump for days. <laughs> Not chump, she can kill these tutus. Okay. Welcome back, so Carpet of Flowers. <laughs> yeah, sure. Unfortunately, you've been playing all these non-island <laughs> lands. I like how it is both main phases you get this mana. Um, It's one or the other. But, uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. You can do yeah. either one. That's such a powerful hoser card. It really is. They don't really make cards like that it's anymore. Like, Which it, is probably it, good. It's a nice hoser. Like, it's good against blue, but it's not like Tsunami or something, where it's just like destroy all <laughs> islands, which is just not nice, polite company. <laughs> company. This is like polite <laughs> company hoser. The funny <laughs> thing is, I think you're losing just as much to Carpet of Flowers. It just doesn't feel as bad. Yeah. Like when your opponent's getting 10 extra mana each turn, you're, it's just as bad as having all your islands destroyed. But psychologically... It doesn't ooh, feel quite as bad. That's kind of a... A sad soul's majesty. Five minutes. Yeah, but if I can find a pump spell. Mm. Oh, that's true. Unfortunately, no. Oh, that's well, awful. Oh, <laughs> poor, poor me. All right, since I get to, I'll get to add a whole bunch of mana. Well, I'll go to add four mana. Now you <sighs> want me around, Jennifer. I'm giving you all this extra mana of Carpet of Flowers. No, see, if I kill you, I don't care about the extra mana because I have Ronas back. Yeah, but then you don't have all that Can't extra her. mana. That was right, I only get to attack no. you with one of them. <laughs> hmm? I have to pay two, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I only go to attack with one of them. Block? Sure. It's a cute little zero one you have there. Yeah, yeah shame if something happened to it. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a moon folk. It's it's fine. You can you can kill it. <laughs> Jennifer going full old school uh, mobster movie here. Be ashamed <laughs> if something happened to that moon folk. Beginning of each of your main phases. Why is it? Oh oh yes. Okay. Ooh. I would like to add all four. Thank you. Ooh. I'm not sure this is going to matter, though. Well, if Tom doesn't kill you, you're probably fine. Right. And I can not block because it has menace. Oh, the menace ability. That menace just got me. Do you remember when I complained about this earlier? I was wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. <laughs> Discarding the monument. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, I know. Where's the faith, Seth? Where's the faith? Now I gotta really quickly check to make sure I'm actually playing the monument in this deck. Don't mind me. I think I did not. Nope, play I'm the not playing the monument. <laughs> All right. Probably so should have played the monument, but I didn't. Yeah, Kef. The Captain Monument, I was... What? Wow, that... lens as well. Gah. Just, just, just want some mana with we're, my empty hand. We are so getting Storm. Comet Storm so hard. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, then we'll play... This? Tom can kill me twice next turn. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out together. Okay. Mine's Oh eye. my goodness. This is how Seth plays red and, <laughs> and white. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I should activate Chandra this turn. I think I did not activate last turn. Um, are you going to block if I attack you, Tomer? Uh, if you don't block... If you... If you don't block, I won't kill your windfall dude with my Chandra deal. What are you attacking me with? Just the... Uh... I just want to draw cards. Okay, fine. Draw okay. all the cards. In uh, red. I have to pay? Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm inconveniencing you while you punch <laughs> me in the face. Never mind. I'm just going to kill your windfall thing now. I'm going to attack someone else. <laughs> 
Jennifer probably won't block. Mm. Probably not. I don't think I get to live much longer anyway. The, the it was downside fun of scaring you all really badly. <laughs> that was good. That was Jennifer. really fun scaring everyone. I don't know if I want that. How about the mountain? I'll take the mountain. That's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll live on the edge. No attacks with Hazard? Uh, I don't want to die to Tom yet. That's fair. Tom's preoccupied with me, I think. You never know. He could just change his mind and kill Tomer. Ooh, <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Or me. Oh, oh I didn't I, activate Chandra I again. Surprise. <laughs> oh my goodness. I actually don't want to draw. What? That's who? Who are you? Because I, I get ancestral vision from Gerper Ori if I don't have cards in hand. Hmm. Interesting. Or ancestral recall. Ah, Ooh. sacrifice a creature. Okay. I'm actually happy about that. Okay. <laughs> now, now I have molten terrible Mastigore fuel. Um, yeah, I've had a hard time finding creatures to <laughs> shoot it at things. What is this? Huh? Deals <laughs> one damage. It's called Festering <laughs> Evil. Uh. Have you never played against Format All Star Festering Evil before? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, that's so weird. What the? Not my moon folk. <laughs> Well, it's it's not the beginning of the upkeep, so okay. you're probably good for a turn. Sure. Unless he sacrifices it right now to kill my moon folk. I'm still deciding how I'm working this turn. I'm not sure what the answer is. Ooh. <laughs> hey, thanks. Uh, no worries. I'm going to try to block because it's giving me the option to, so... No, I'm sorry. That's not how that works. <laughs> I tried that earlier. I guess I'm the biggest threat. I, it, there's no use in attacking stuff. Huh. I, I do have An a lot of defense blocker. and yeah. a regenerator. No broach is actually super sweet once you're empty-handed. I'm very excited about that. It's like the red negate. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Has your upkeeps done anything yet? Your extra upkeep? Um, not really. Maybe, maybe someday. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is not going well. I could just wheel and hope. Go for it. I feel like I'm dead next turn is a thing, so I don't have much going on. I can't have a blocker to Bantu, so Bantu can kill me whenever. And... Could draw a couple cards instead, but yeah, doesn't seem good. Okay, I'm gonna play play an island. I think I have to. Jeez, no, I'm actually dead to festering evil anyway. That sucks. How are you dead to festering evil? If the Festering Evil kills my Suratami Seer... Oh, and then attacks you? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, yeah, I guess that so makes... I, all my moon folk are tiny, so I can't, like, top deck a big creature. That makes more sense. I think I'll just play this. Five life! Yeah! In Ooh. a bottle. Um, 
Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oh, mind's eye. I'll choose you, and then I will take five mana. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I probably should have countered that. Hmm. It's okay. <laughs> That's what I get for F sixing. Well, you already have a ton of mana, so maybe it doesn't matter. I do have a lot of mana and not too many things to do with it. Ranger's Path. Even more mana. It's going to be a big Genesis wave. I wish. Come on, Jennifer. I didn't kill you because I wanted to see you do something real cool. I gave you the breathing room. Ooh. Oh! Okay. You get Ronas back. That is really cool. Is that? I think that's oh, how it works. Oh, it's Homer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I... Oh, split second is on split the stack. Second. Mm -hmm. yeah. Split can't, second. You cannot counter it. Uh... We I think I could kill someone with Infect. I have Ronas back. Welcome back, Ronas. And look at all this mana I can use with this pump ability. Mm. Okay. No, just let Tomer die. You don't have to be a friend. Just let him die. I don't think I could save it. And Oh, it only pumps, it only it pumps, only pumps power. power. It could be oh. my friend. Uh, this is like friend? the ultimate test of friendship. This there is. There should be a title card right now. Ultimate test of friendship. <laughs> Sad. Uh, are we friends, Tomer? We're friends. <laughs> I don't want to die like this. I don't want to die you know to Bantu what? either, but... No one wants to die like this. All right. No! No! It's, no! It's, it's an infect creature. Yeah, but That's... she's at 9 and he's at 16. He's a blue deck. I'm a moon folk die. deck. What? <laughs> that is a compelling that is a compelling argument yeah. for Tom. Hey Seth. Mhm. Mm I will not attack you next turn if I'm still alive for my next turn. If you don't stop me from killing Tomer. Uh, Seth, uh, just well, once. We, just what's once. What's YouTube going to say? <laughs> They're going to be upset that you're not choosing friendship. He would be choosing friendship. It'd be an alliance with me. That's that's true. I'm just choosing a different friend. Wow. Oh. <laughs> All right, this is typical. <laughs> you, you guilted me into it, don't worry. <laughs> yes. No! I, I did it for YouTube because oh. I know they'd be mad at me. I got to get on YouTube's good side. Yeah. I'm, I might kill you when I untap, though. No. Just with regular damage? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> wow. Well, the Moonfolk right. deck well, doesn't we'll get to do cool things. we'll just another Infect creature. <laughs> that Heartstone is great. Thanks, by the way. Oh, yeah, gosh. Oh, Heartstone's Jesus. wonderful. Welcome. So much drawing. Welcome, everyone. Uh, uh, correct. Uh, stack only two mana to pump people. Drawing three is sweet. All right, let's see if he gets hit. Of course. Uh, heads? Yes! Oh, Maybe. shoot. Uh, I don't think we need Mind Stone. More mana. I would say something really stupid about you can never have too much mana, but yeah, Mind Stone is too much mana. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. You do not need Mind Stone. Uh, Chandra? Hmm. Uh, even more lands. Well, every land you draw, you can just discard to just... Yeah. Pyrostatic uh, Pillaros? No, that's four damage. Like, exactly like you're doing. Yeah, like this. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just going to do this for a minute. Oh, wow. Oh. Ori is amazing in that deck, isn't it? I never yeah, thought it, of that. It is pretty mm -hmm. sweet. That is so smart. Jeez. Uh, now what? I have this, but what do we throw it at is the question. Uh, we're, we're, oh, I'm not friends with Jen now. So she's going to kill me? Uh, well, I'm we'll still going to do this. I'm still going to do this. It's got to be correct. 
Oof. Ugh. On what? Nightmare leash. Oh, I, yeah. I think isn't that the scariest thing for I, I us? I agree with that. <laughs> it's okay. it's pretty scary. Nightmare leash. Go is nightmare scary. leash and crypt gas and like cage suns. Well, one of those is mine. I like that one. <laughs> uh, all right. No attacks. We'll just we'll just pass. Oh man, I have so many combos at the moment. I think I actually kill people. Festering evil. Aww, bye bye necropede. Let's put a minus one counter on somebody. Hmm. Put it on the crypt gas and it kills the crypt gas. Right. Oh, that, that makes sense. Well, bam. Whoa. My life total is dangerously low. I think I might accidentally kill you, Jen. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, count oh, wait, no, this. you're not. I'm just dead. Uh, so no, now. Well, good. I didn't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to feel guilty. <laughs> Tom's the bad guy. <laughs> he's also the bad guy at 30 life, so be he's, careful. And he's also gonna kill my Hazaret. No, kill Kefnet, Tom. He, he that was Carl. Well, this, no. this guy. I mean, uh, you can counter it, so I'm not pretending this is actually going to kill your guy. Yeah, I was hoping I could get you to kill Kefnet, or yeah, Kefnet, but I gotta gotta do the negate. I have plans for Hazaret. John cards. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. We're actually drawing cards. And discarding them. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's a combo. <laughs> Ezra's actually sweet. Ooh. Why? Why is... What? Where's your mana doubling, Tomer? I don't know. Um... Hey... Tomer, yeah. I can. No, I, I'm trying to think. That's the <laughs> best way to do this. Are are you killing me right now? I think I'm just going to attack Seth for commander damage with Bantu. It's probably the best thing I can do here. And the Sidisi? Uh, the Sidisi doesn't do anything for me because Hazard is still indestructible. Is Sidisi coming mm -hmm. my way though? No. Okay. Sidisi is staying home. Good. <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear. Uh, Menace has been way more relevant than we thought at the beginning of this game. Yeah, we legitimately made fun of this at the beginning of the game. Good job, Menace. I love you, babe. Yeah, I was <laughs> impressed by... I was impressed by Menace. This reminds me of um, the reason why I go by MTG Radio on Twitch is because I originally had a podcast called MTG Radio about EDH, and our first episode was making fun of the fact that uh, Shieldred had Swamp Walk until <laughs> we proceeded to lose multiple times to the Swamp Walk on Shieldred. <laughs> <laughs> the Bloodsoak Champion was there on turn one, <clears throat> still there on turn 11. It's so good for this deck, oh my gosh. It's so good. What do I do? YouTube's gonna be so upset with me. I legitimately don't think you can play this deck without Blood Soak Champion. You probably yes. gained some life, Tomer. I'm gonna gain some life, but I have this card in my hand. Do I pop it now? So I can... That yeah. looks like seven mana. He did say he didn't have Cyclonic Rift. Would he lie to us? He might have drawn it, though, in the last couple turns. Cyclonic Rift's in my deck. It's not in my hand. Um, I'm going to... Yeah. I think I'm going to... Yeah, this will be 10, 11... 
Yeah. High Tide. Oh, gosh. It's kind of like my Gauntlet of Power, Cage Sun, but not really. Um, all right, let's spend, <laughs> spend the mana. Is this my, like, Stroke of Genius for, like, nine? No. Uh, act- activate Kefnet like three times. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I knew it. This is all I have. <laughs> oh yes, in mind's eye. Uh, oh boy, this. <laughs> oh my god, I killed Homer here. Yeah, this may be bad for you, Tomer. <laughs> I'm doing it. Do right. it. Um, do I just maybe bring this back? No. Wait, I have to see my list real fast. Is there a okay. land that gets me out of this? Because I could bring back... Nope. Strip mine? Nope. Fairy Bruin? No. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to get back uh, a Reliquary Tower, sure. Did I auto-yield to this? Yeah, turn off auto-yields. <laughs> Uh-oh. Pop this. Oh, uh, well, yeah. No killing of Tomer. Oh, he did it right. Yeah, oh. good job. I didn't want you to. Oh, I didn't want to draw the cards in my graveyard, so I was holding off a little bit. But um, it's better than being dead. I could draw two more cards. That's not good. That's not smart. <laughs> it's kind of a, a greed right now too, because you take two damage from Hazarat whenever you draw. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yeah, this definitely looks like it's going to Tom. I'm going for it. I, like, what else am I... I'm just dead on my turn anyway. Yeah, you might as well keep doing it. It's Better to fun. die drawing cards. Exactly. <laughs> if you're going to die. Well, if you do this, then you can attack with Kefnet, right? Because you'll have seven cards in hand. That's true. Get those five points of damage in. Oh, yeah. Send a message. I return a land. Oh no, I just stopped thinking, I guess. Oh. All right. I love that Seth manages to play a card draw deck no matter what color he's in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty great. <laughs> that's how I like to play magic. Boy, am I glad this is not how commander damage works. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm actually kind of impressed with Hazaret at the moment. I live. Oh, extra, extra upkeep. Ew. Well, good luck. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, alright. Once more. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm just so dead. I like how the card you're actually dying to right now is your own Hearthstone. <laughs> yeah. And your Kefnet drawing you all those cards. Oh, man. Nothing good. <laughs> I can reality shift something. Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay, yes, mine's eye. You can you can ping me one more time. What's reality shift do? Oh boy, that's a painful one to discard, but we're gonna do it. Yeah. Alright, well I have one turn to draw some more cards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything else. I could reality shift the hazard, but I would have just died on your turn anyway. Uh huh. Um, I'm dead to Tom, regardless. I can attack. No, I'm just gonna. All right. <laughs> Let's draw some cards. At least you didn't die to infect, right? Ooh, that's true. That would have been cool. Indeed, dying to infect would have been cool. <laughs> All right, I, I don't have I, I don't I don't have the mana to cast my royal until okay so I'm dead. All right, sweet. Let me, I guess attack. <laughs> who do I attack? Who do I king make this time? I I, I, I I'm the one you that kept you in the say, game. Yeah, you, you, Tomer, you, you we're saved friends. my life, so I have to attack Tom. Uh, uh excuse me, he just dealt you twenty damage. He also saved where me is this for, coming from? He saved me from infect. Remember that? That's true. <laughs> See that it paid off in the long run. Being friends with Tomer. Um, definitely 
weren't lying about king making. <laughs> well, I could not attack anybody and then just die, but what's the fun in that, right? Right. Um, do I just draw one more card? I could reality shift something. One of your gods, perhaps. And be a nuisance. Or I can just draw a card. I think we know what you're picking. Draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it was the other one. Oh, all these cool cards. What a shame. What a shame. I still don't know if I beat Tom, though. I think I think you still are favored, maybe, Tom. I guess it depends on my draws. And this Mana Crypt. <laughs> it does kind of depend on the Mana Crypt. And how good that Chandra is to you. Come on, Mana Crypt. Be nice to me specifically, not to Seth. <laughs> Heads? Oh. Always tails. All right. Tails. All right. Always tails. That's a good hmm. start. So we're at 12. Mm-hmm. What do we do? Not attack. Not attack. Interesting. Well, he can't attack. He could have discarded some cards and killed me. Uh, that's true. Let's see. Take up I Chandra. I think he's doing that anyways. Ooh, Outpost Siege. I love me some Outpost Siege. I don't know. I feel like this is my comeback. <laughs> Oh, a Chroma's Memorial. Tom's favorite card. <laughs> yeah. All right, Seth, you're, you have to be a gentleman. You have to finish it. Come on. To kill you? Yeah. <laughs> I, if I, I want you, a perma F6 already. <laughs> if I kill yeah. you now, does my spell resolve? Yeah. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we got to do that then. There we go. Thank you. Again, You're Tommy. welcome. Again. Good game, good game. Uh, we will choose cons, card draw mode. Of course. Oh. Play that. Okay. Play that. Ooh. Oh, that would have been good if you had lands. And... Do this feels so weird, but I think that's necessary. Was that? Hmm. I don't even that, know what you did. That or oh, I killed your blood so champion. Yeah, shot it down with the molten vortex. vortex. Means that you have to sack CDC or play something to sack before you can bond to attack bond to. That's probably really smart. Yep. I like it. Chandra's still sitting there with five loyalty. <laughs> yep. I missed a couple turns and then zeroed a couple turns. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good at killing blockers. Yup. Annoying thing is, like, commander damage isn't tracked for each individual commander. I think it just, like, tallies all the commander damage you've taken. Which is not how it's supposed to work, right? No. You can you can right click it and it says who would, who dealt it. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's the it just no oh yeah here yeah. commander damage taken nine of twenty one bond to the glorified. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, when I click on Tom though, it doesn't. Well, because I'm out, I guess. No. Yeah. Maybe because I can't see what it says oh, commander damage my... taken. But did you do that on purpose? Mm-hmm. Your own bond to. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Why? Because now you can do uh, maximum commander damage. Yeah, exactly. Do I plus want to give Bontu plus plus nine plus nine? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, oh, it oh gets... plus, not minus. Never mind. Never oh, mind. I yeah. forgot that that was actually a mode on Liliana. I just thought it killed things. Oh, yeah. so now I... <laughs> and you have something you can sack, and oh. I think that does it. Yeah. And Tom said he doesn't play infect creatures. Oh, you hush. <laughs> <laughs> Does the menace get it? 
The Menace wins this match. I mean, it's indestructible. It's going to be really hard to answer that. Is there a Chaos Warp? Okay, no Chaos Warp. I'll take it. Nope. Uh, <sighs> yep, that was pretty bad. I I completely Ooh. misunderstood Commander what Liliana did. Yep, good game, good game. He's, he's game. impressive. Uh, I would have countered the Liliana if I realized it could do that. I was thinking of just negative things. I for completely forgot that you could actually plus it on your stuff, but she has a lot of text on here, to be fair. And no, yeah. and it's not really was never really played in constructed, so I'm not used to playing with or against it. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. That was a pretty fast game, I would say, in terms of like a regular recording. So, yeah, the, the game picked up quickly. Um, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about your deck and the the things that you've done differently with it? I saw a bunch of cards that I've never seen anywhere else like Festering Evil, and then the Infected Vermin. So it seemed like you were going for kind of like a Pestilence style of play? You're 100% correct, yes. So this is actually a Pestilence deck, um, because these gods are indestructible, but unlike the Theros dog gods, they're still creatures on the battlefield, even if they can't be activated. Mm -hmm. So with Pestilence, uh, it goes away if there are no creatures on the battlefield, you sacrifice Pestilence, but you'll always have your commander on the battlefield, so you always have access to Pestilence. Oh, that's so, a really smart tech. Yeah, so this deck is actually built around Pestilence effects. Uh, there's Stuffy Dolls, Eternity Vessel, Sun Droplet, a lot of different ways to make sure you get to gain your life back from the Pestilence effects, and then you have Bonto himself who gets you some life back. Um, and then there's also ways to keep your creatures around, like the Nightmare Lash from before, and there's also a Lash Rife, as well mm -hmm. to make sure your creatures are big enough to actually attack through and end the game. And then uh, there's also uh, a bunch of semi rafts that deal damage, like Dakmore Plague, Five mana sorcery deals three damage to each creature and each player. There's a lot of cards like that which doesn't affect your Bantu and then can also kill some of your smaller creatures so Bantu can attack. It's uh, I, it's a fun... I, I thought it was a pretty cool way to build this deck. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, one of the cards I was going to tutor for but ended up not uh, playing was Hatred. Uh, it's a five mana instant. As it just will cost to cast it, pay X life. Target creature gets plus X plus O until end of turn. Also really good with Bantu, but also really good if you just want someone to be dead. Uh, That's true. So, if you just, it just felt like it was appropriate for Commander Clash. I, I ended up not tutoring for it that turn. I tutored for, um, uh, just, uh, I think, just Crypt Ghast. Yeah, I just needed some extra lands. I uh, know Sever the Bloodline was what I tutored for that turn. But overall, I, I do like this deck. There's a nice amount of ways to make your creatures indestructible so that they don't die to the Pestilence effects and... There's Thrashing Wumpus, and I don't know. It's just, it's fun. It felt like a different way to take this kind of build. So I definitely enjoyed it. I thought that um, I, Bantu performed better than I thought he was going to. I think a lot of that was due to the fact that Bloodsoak Champion is like the best card in this deck somehow, even though it's a Pestilence deck. Yeah, it was a work that card. Is, <laughs> that card is dumb in this build. So I good mean, on you, Bloodsoak Champion. I mean, you attack with Bantu 150 times just by existing. Yeah. Because as soon as it dies, you attack with Bantu, then you bring it back, and you can just do it every turn. Mm -hmm. And you can sacrifice him and scry one, and everyone loses a life, and you gain a life, and it's just consistent that way, which is really fun. So, yeah, I uh, I, I, I enjoyed this deck. Um, it does have Smuggler's Copter because just all... Com oh, just my goodness. <laughs> in case you didn't know, vehicles are great with gods because <laughs> you can crew up the vehicles because they're still creatures on the battlefield, which is awesome. That's so it's playing true. both Caravan and Smuggler's Copter. <laughs> I feel like that's become your trademark card. The Smuggler's, Smuggler's Copter, Copter will become the next Soul Ring. Like, honestly, this card is dumb, <laughs> and it's just as good in Commander. It kills all the Planeswalkers. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I like this deck. Uh, I really want to, although I don't, particularly enjoy in fact i do want to kind of hear a jennifer builder deck yeah jennifer so i i think in fact is a is a good strategy especially when you have ways to pump your creatures so i have no no qualms with it also personally i've never had too many issues with infect myself and in fact i i played infect super friends and it was quite fun so can you tell us a little bit about your deck what are the all-star cards we saw phyrexian hydra which was Quite scary, especially when you give a trample. Were there any other uh, MVPs of the deck? I mean, I built it around Ronas, um, first and foremost. So when I saw the pump ability on him, I was like, 
this may be one of the better commanders to do infect with just because I can give them trample and plus two for three mana every turn mm -hmm. or as many times as I want to because it's not even a tap ability. So I was really excited about that and I decided to go with infect even though I knew it would likely put me in the hot seat, which it did and that's fair because infect is a really scary in commander. But I was really excited for the fight cards, which I didn't actually end up fighting at all. Um, the Death Touch Indestructible it's just seems so perfect with fight. And I had the, um, the tra tracker something or whatever, the one that was on the field. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fight Uven, the Uven wall tracker? Yeah, the repeatable tracker. So, or the, tra the repeatable fight on the tracker. Anyway, but that was gotten rid of before there was something worth killing. And apparently, which I learned while we were playing today, Thornbite Staff is bugged on Magic Online. You oh. cannot equip it unless you have a Shaman enter the battlefield. Oh, the oh. equip cost does not work? Because it's like it's four not to there. equip. It's not there. Right. Oh my it's God. four to equip, but it's not there. You can't do it. Oh. Or I would have had, had that on Ronas, and I could have just like attacked and, or fought and knocked things off. That so I could have fought two things a turn with those two cards that I had early on. And that just kind of fell apart. But at least I had the Infect. I had that to back up. And so I went with Plan B. Tried to knock someone out with Infect. Didn't quite get there. It was close. Yeah, Staff would have gone infinite with, um, with Ronas. Because if I had it on him, I would tap Ronas to kill... I, like, it's a board wipe every time I want it to be. Yeah. Because I fight, him, Death Touch automatically kills it. It's not got damage on it because it's indestructible, or it has damage, but it doesn't matter. Right? And then it untaps, and then I do it again. And so it was a board wipe as often as I wanted it to be, if I could get that equipped. And I was so excited, because in my opening hand, I had that Thornbite staff, and I'm like, this is the best. I'm going to turn three Ronas, turn four, drop the Thornbite staff, put them together, and just like keep take over the whole board. And then it was bugged. So wow. that was really frustrating. But yeah, it, I got to do a lot of what I wanted to do other than the fight spells. And it was a really fun deck. I'll probably try it out without Thornbite Staff later on my stream or something. But it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was neat. It utilized your commander very well. I also had a follow-up question. Since you did play Nylea recently... Um, mm -hmm. The previous Theros god, Mono Green God, she's very similar to Ronas, but how do you feel they stack? Um, how do you build them differently? And which do you prefer? Well, it's hard to say which I prefer. Um, I built them very differently, so they didn't have a similar feel even. So with Nylia, I had just all the big things with the ramp. Mm -hmm. And then with this one, I specifically was going for a little bit cuter, trickier kind of uh, sneaky things, like with the infect and the fighting. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure which one would be better in general as a mono green commander. There might even still be a better choice. But they were both really fun to play, and mono green in general is really cool. So I'm happy that I played both of them. Yeah, both of them looked really sweet, and you're right, they both had very different styles of play, so it was cool seeing Mono Green do very different things. Mm -hmm. All right, Seth, you played the most controlling Hazaret deck <laughs> I've ever seen, and I think I ever <laughs> will see. Can we, can we glean some more insight into the deck process, into the all-star cards that we didn't get to see. We saw a lot of really good value out of the very unique way that Red um, draws cards, which is exiling the top of their library, not going to your hand, and then being, being able to temporarily be cast. And it works amazingly with your god. What other shenanigans did you have in store? All right, well, the one card I was <laughs> most excited about, but never drew, and... I will bet that none of you know what this card is. Uh, Gustthaz Scepter. Have you ever heard of that one? It's from no. Alliances. Nope, oh. I have not heard of it. It is a zero-mana artifact, 
and you can tap it to remove a card from your hand, and then you can tap it again later in the game to put a card that's exiled under it back in your hand. So it's a way you can can kind of store away cards to get in damage, but still not really lose the cards. So I was really ex- I was really excited for. Uh, for that, I'm sure it's not actually good, but it's just so weird and unique. But the main plan was the red card advantage was kind of half of the plan. And then I also had a, a few card advantage engines that were uh, stuff that drew you an extra card, but then made you discard your hand at your end step, like Grafted Skullcap mm. and stuff like that. So I'd be able to... Dragon. Or yeah. Avaricious Dragon, sorry. Avaricious Dragon was in the deck, uh, stuff like that. And then I wasn't sure what direction to go, but to kind of support the second half of the deck, I had some artifact reanimation value. I had Trash for Treasure. I had Trading Post. So I was thinking I'd be able to discard artifacts. Like, we saw a Spine of Isha, uh, Chroma's Memorial. I also had Possessed Portal which makes it so no one can draw cards, which works well if I want to be (laughs) empty-handed. So that was kind of the second plan of the deck, was this artifact reanimation plan, figuring I could discard them to my commander and then get them back with Trash for Treasure. I wanted to play to ready, but had to cut it at the last minute because it's ridiculously expensive online, so I couldn't get it Mm -hmm. to fit under the budget. But I, I had Goblin Welder was another one of the reanimation spells. So I think it was actually pretty sweet. I was pretty happy with how it turned out and i think it was uh, the synergy was a lot better than i even imagined and i think it helped that i had so much mana from having two mana doublers on the battlefield but it worked out really well with mind's eye i was super impressed with gurper ori was amazing in my deck was so insane so i think there are some cool ways to build around hazaret even though it's still probably not is high in raw power as some of the other gods from Mom and Cat. Yeah. yeah, the way you built that deck was actually incredibly interesting. I liked, especially like the Orrery and stuff like that was super cool. And the way you used Mind's Eye was also pretty awesome. So yeah, that was, I mean, I thought I built a fun deck, but the I didn't realize that Commander was so synergistic. I know I'll definitely be building that deck in the future. Like 100% it looks like so much fun. It was it was a lot more fun to play than I thought going into it. And it was yeah, I certainly was not expecting that style of play from Hazaret. <laughs> I I can find a way to play that style no matter what commander you give me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it is much what I do. Hard draw, and the rest will figure itself out. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. But honestly, it was a great style of play, and it's very unique to red in general. I would say. Um, Hazaret takes advantage of many red style of cards, the unique uh, draw style of Exile on top of the library and the Avaricious Dragons and everything and the Orrery and all these cards that you don't see in regular decks have a home here. So I have a lot of respect for Hazaret that I didn't have before we played. So Mm -hmm. very, very cool that. As for my deck... um, it didn't quite get there. It was doing quite well on the stream, so I was excited to show you guys some of the tricks. What the deck really was, it wasn't a Kefnet deck in terms of uh, going Voltron or, or uh, winning through Kefnet. I did have ways to make his activated ability, which costs four mana to draw a card. Um, it costs way too much mana to just play straight, but if you have ways to discount it with Hearthstone and the best card in blue, uh, training Grounds, which is the same thing as Hearthstone, except it only works for your creatures, and activated abilities of your creatures cost two colorless mono- mana less. So with Hearthstone and Training Grounds out at the same time, you're drawing one card per blue mana you spend on Kefnet, and he can become a very powerful engine with just one of the, or two of them. Um, so I had ways to find Training Grounds. I ran all the tutors that I could find for it. I also ran Moonfolk that also have very overpriced activated abilities. And I figured, I have all these cool activated abilities. What else can I do with these Moonfolk? What else can I do with this Kefnet? And I stumbled upon an epic spell, literally an epic spell called Eternal Dominion from Champions of Kamigawa. (laughs) It's a 10 mana sorcery spell that says, search your target opponent's Library for an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card. Put that card onto the battlefield under your control. And it's an epic spell. It has the mechanic epic. For the rest of this, for the game, you can't cast spells. At the beginning of each of your upkeeps, copy this spell for the epic ability. 
and you choose new targets for it. So what? you can't cast spells for the rest of the game, but I have all these Moonfolk, I have Kefnet that have activated abilities, so I can actually still spend my mana and have pseudo spells available to me. That's why I was also running like these weird, obscure um, utility lands like Mystifying Maze, which is like a bad Maze's End, but if you have all this extra mana, it's fine, because what else are you going to be spending it on? I also had stuff like Force Field, which is also like a ghostly prison effect, but you have to spend mana on it. So I had all those effects, oh. and the entire point of the deck is to ramp heavily, get your 10 plus mana, and then run every single fork effect in blue. So I had a Moonfolk, the best Moonfolk possible, Uyo, Silent Prophet, which is a fork effect. It's activated as a fork effect. I had Miletus, uh, Miletus Charlatan, also a fork effect. I had Twin Cast. I, I was running... Um, Insidious Will instead of Counterspell because, again, it could twin cast. The Mirror Pool that I was running, again, is the twin cast. Paradox Haze gives me an extra upkeep, so I get an extra trigger of the Epic Spell. I had Strionic Resonator. I went really, really deep. And when it works, it's awesome, but it's really slow, and it takes a lot of setting up to get there. So it's not actually a good deck, but it is a hilarious deck. And I think it's if people are interested in playing Moonfolk as a tribe, I think this is the best way to do it. Because the Moonfolk, the only thing that is similar about all of them is they have very expensive activated abilities that are going to cripple your mana base. But it doesn't really matter if you can't actually cast spells. And then some of the abilities are actually quite good. So if you like Moonfolk... Definitely check this out, um, and if you want to cast an epic spell, definitely check it out too. It's really cute, um, and maybe I'll, I'll play it on the stream again. I had a lot of fun trying it out. Did you get the epic spell to happen on stream? Yeah. I, nice. I, I cast it, and then I killed somebody with their Furnace of Wrath and Sulfuric Vortex. Oh, which was that's beautiful. Great. <laughs> I that like sounds... playing with other people's cards. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, it, that's a really sweet idea. I really like it. Yeah, it, it was fun. I've, I've won one time with Commander Clash with another epic spell, Enduring Ideal, and I want to win with more of them in the future. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, next up, ne Never Ending Torment. That'll be a challenge. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, that wraps up Commander Clash. Tune in next week when we continue to build decks around the commanders from the new set, Amonkhet. Should be a lot of fun, and until then, see ya! Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.